Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, our third matchup of the Pro Division here tonight in our sixth of the evening here on the SBO Network. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Darth. It's going to be a good one. Pittsburgh Vipers putting on a clinic against the Columbus Clappers. A 13-goal game for the Pittsburgh Vipers to start off their first game in the Pro Division. They promoted from Challenger up to where they are now. We're about five minutes away from the drop of the puck. They're already taking on the, the defending champions, the Irvion Trophy winners of season number four. They were the seventh seed in the Pro Division, and this season they're out for blood. And maybe a Lucha Trophy spot, but um, it will be interesting. Taking a look at the pro standings as they currently are. We'll get more to this slide in a few seconds. To take a look at the standings as they are currently. Plymouth play two games played, two wins. And uh, that's really all you need to know. They're putting on a show here in the Pro Division, much like they did last season. And uh, you can't really ask more for them as an organization. They already have down on the boards. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Plymouth Plague, undefeated. Vipers, undefeated. By the end of this, we're going to find out which one of them is going to be the lone wolf coming out of this day. With an extra W on their win column. Of course, Pittsburgh Vipers, I think they have to play the Orangutans later on this week as well. Um, correct. That game does not have a game time yet, but uh, we'll keep our ears to the ground. Pittsburgh Vipers are going to be one of the teams they'll follow this season along with the Ocean City Typhoons. If you're not familiar with each of these teams up in the Pro Division, um, well, you will be by the end of the season. <laughs> Let's take a look at the Pro Division. Here are the 10 teams. Colorado Cobra staying the same. Columbus Clappers, the former Brooklyn Bandits, as they rebranded this offseason. Los Angeles Comets staying the same. Laugh Track, the captain now, Case Fire playing the sub this season. Just doesn't have that fire for this game anymore, and that's understandable. Maui Monkeys rebranding from Rodeo's team last season, Las Vegas Vandals. Ocean City Typhoons alongside holding hands with the Pittsburgh Vipers. Whether or not they like me to say that does not matter. They both promoted up from Challenger into the Pro Division last season in the uh, Pro Promotional Series. Ocean City Typhoons took on the Boston Big Beans, beat them in a best of three, and the Pittsburgh Vipers beat the Ontario Outliers in a best of three as well. If you want to check out those game stats, they're on the website. SPL.GG is your best friend in every way, shape, and form. Of course, Orlando Otters, captain by Mace again this season, will be down there on the ice later on in the week. Keep an eye on them as we continue on. Plymouth Plague staying the same. The addition of Dynamite this season, in contrary. West Virginia Orangutans almost rebranding entirely. Apart from the captain and the team name, it's a different style of play down there on the ice for those boys in red. Um... And, of course, the Yosemite Grizzlies bringing back bombs, I believe. And uh, so they're getting back to their roots. I think season two, their roster is the same as it was this season. So uh, it'll be interesting to see how this one progresses. But uh, game number six of the evening, ready to rock, ready to roll here sooner rather than later. Um, all six parties are in the lobby, and they're ready to go. We got Eli, Henry, Milk, Christian, FF for the Pittsburgh Vipers. They're 1-0 on the season. T Flaccid Spills, Dynamite for the Plymouth Plague. They're 2-0 this season. Uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, everybody's ready to rock, ready to roll. Henry, Milk, and Christian are our starting three for the Vipers. And the Plymouth Plague have T Flass and Spills. We're taking it down to the ice. First period of action. Ready to rock, ready to roll. And uh, it is rocking. The puck has dropped. The game is on. 15 minutes of slab shot. Uninterrupted between these two teams down on the ice. Plymouth Plague on the right side. Pittsburgh Vipers on the left. And uh, we're rocking in a big way. Not, not holding any punches back. As uh, Henry, right from the get-go, able to rip that one through the 20. He can smell the smoke sizzling off the air because of it. The Pittsburgh Vipers, early lead, a good forehand shot, weaves through the defense like it's a basket. 15 seconds in, it's 1-0 Vipers. Almost 2-0 Vipers, right from the drop of the puck. Plymouth Plague in a, a little bit of a, a hair-pulling situation. Not really sure how to play defense against this team. Of course, we saw their, their immense ability to spread out, thin the ice out, in the cycle, the Pittsburgh Vipers do a really good job at their position and keeping the triangle strong. T with a big save there. Milk trying to jam that one along the door post, but not able to find it. Um, the Columbus Clappers' downfall was the fact that they were not able to uh, adapt to the Pittsburgh Vipers' play in time. And that, it, that resulted in a 13-3 game, which is quite a wild thing to think about as uh, the Columbus Clappers, notorious for their, uh, their accomplishments in the North American scene. Whenever it comes to 3v3 slap shot, all the way back in slap one, they went undefeated from NSL's first two seasons. We've transformed into SPL, and uh, they won all four championships back in slap one, but Christian FF looking to change fate along with his stars, and it's 2-0 Pittsburgh. A good shot by Christian. T just a little bit too far behind the play to make uh, anything happen back on that defensive back check. 
And with 3.50 remaining in the first, it's 2-0 for Pittsburgh. Logic's on the Los Angeles Comets. So that's where Logic's at. Henry, taking his time in his own defensive corner. We want Logic. You're going to have to wait then. <laughs> Henry, taking his time, dancing. Nice shot and a better goal. I, I have no words for what's happening right now. It's just the Henry show. And uh, there's not a whole lot of opposition to, to say otherwise. I, I, I'm, I'm, I've, I've been flabbergasted. Henry, taking this one defensively. He takes his time back in the defensive end. He had the most possession time in their only game played so far this season. So, Henry, my player to watch. T, the other player to, player to watch. Of course, Spills is always a show to watch down there on the ice. Um, the controller nerf hit him a little bit, but not quite enough to uh, make him a non-effective player. Three minutes remain in the first. Uh, we're going to see plenty of that here later on. And uh, we're just... I think that this first period is just going to belong to the Pittsburgh Vipers. I think they're going to be a five, five... Maybe a five to one game by the end of this first period of action. And uh, I think... Period two is really whether the Plymouth Plague are really going to pick up their pace, pick up their bag, get back in the saddle. And uh, I think it's going to be a tie ball game going into the third. That's my prediction, but um, I'm just the caster. T looking to pull this one out and away. It's all going to be about spacing, all about who's open whenever you have the puck. It's really going to come down to that offensive and defensive cycle. Good shot by Milk, and he finds himself an empty net to slice it into. It's 4 nothing, And the Plymouth Plague are in the lead in a big way. Blasted Lettuce letting that one slink down back to a flat pancake to play with. Almost had a bean puck there. I think it's just if the puck's on its side for more than three seconds untouched, it just kind of locks there. And I don't know what's going on with that. But, um, yeah, that might have something to do with it. T over to Milk. Milk off spills back into the corner. Christian with a touch out in front of the cage and a save by Flaccid. Plymouth Plague have yet to register a shot, and we're over three minutes, we're over two minutes into this period of action. It's three minutes. I just can't do math. Three minutes, ten into this first period of action. T trying to get this first shot off on spills, but he's not able to take that one in stride. Henry looking towards the top side of the ice over to Flash. Flash, if he's looking to control, top side shooting. Nice save by Henry. Henry off Flash. It. Flash it. out in front, goes off T off spills. A shot attempt does off the near side and wide. That would have been immaculate if that was a deflection shot and maybe a deflection goal. Top side, nice touch back into the defensive end. Spills here on the back check. Looking to bring this one out for the Plymouth Plague off the back end. Whips this one out to T. Goes off Henry back into the Pittsburgh cycle. Christian FF down low in his own, or in the offensive zone for the Pittsburgh Vipers. Fed out to Henry. Henry shooting, goes off Spills. Spills with a minute 12 on his stick. He's looking to burn it a little bit. Christian, Henry down the near side boards. Finding his way off the stick of Flaccid back over to Henry. Henry, the alternative captain of Pittsburgh. Looking to bring this one down to the near side. Spills hot on his tail. We're going to turn that one back over for the boys in red, but that one's knocked loose into no man's land. And T is the only one there camping. Spills. Head fake. Shoots. Scoring. And he does. Wow. How about them apples? One to four is the score. Plymouth Plague. Not going to die yet. They're still alive. They're still happy. Bring out your dead cart. Won't catch them yet. Placid. Going off to the top side. Here's Milk with it. Now looking to get jiggy with it back in his own defensive corner is Henry. Henry getting the step on Flaccid. Chip that one over to Milk. Milk here back into the defensive end. Flaccid letting that one just go. That was a scoring chance for the boys in red, but the Plymouth Plague did not want that charity goal. They want to win square and fair. 25 seconds remain in the first. One to four is the score. Christian fed. Goes off Spills. Spills controlling. Goes off the tip of the stick. Brought back over to Milk. Milk here off the back end. Goes off Flaccid. 14 seconds remain. Henry's shot goes over to Milk. Milk here down towards the near side. Forehand pass goes out in front of the cage. Henry shoots off the far side down to the near. Milk from the hip goes off spills. Milk forehand out to the point. Christian pulls, shoots, not able to score. T with a nice save and that is all she wrote for this first period of action. 4-1 to the score. Pittsburgh Vipers. Down, our Pittsburgh Vipers in the lead over the plague. Looks like the course six is going to stay the same down there on the ice to start the second period of action. Takeaway game, pretty even. Passing game just about there as well, but the possession game heavily in favor of the Pittsburgh Vipers. Thanks to, I believe it's Henry with the majority of the possession time. That's just going off a thought off the noggin. 33 seconds of possession time for Henry, 26 for Christian, and I think it says three for Milk. 
Not sure if that math checks out or not, but with all six parties ready to rock, ready to roll, we're back on the ice for the second period of action. Pittsburgh Vipers on the left, Plymouth Plague on the right. The pucks drop the games on. And anticipation grows. Henry, bank pass to himself. Classic, trying to get down along the end wall, find a feed out to the point here, spills it out, dancing with it out at the point. Nice backhand shot goes into the near side corner. T, Henry, backhand out of the zone towards the cage and off the far side and wide. Spills, fed over to Flassett. Flassett looking to pick this one back out to the top side. It looks like the Plymouth Plague are starting to adapt to the, the Pittsburgh game plan. The sooner they pick it apart, the sooner they're going to start winning this game. <laughs> it's all about deconstructing their offensive cycle. And uh, so far, I think that's one of the most solid ones I've seen. It's the most methodical, and uh, it's one of the most effective. Henry playing a good quarterbacking spot, but spills off Flaccid, and what an offensive opportunity. Landed on the doorstep on a silver platter. Spills yet again for, I think, that's his 10th goal of the season. He's able to top off another shot. That's his 11th goal of the season, the second of the night here in Plymouth. T with a fake to the top side, goes across the grain out into the far side corner. Good shot attempt, goes off spills. Christian FF trying to battle it out with T. T with a step on this one, brings this one back behind his own goal line, being passed to himself. Here's Christian FF to the top side boards. Milk along the wall. Classic trying to force him back to the near side as this one goes over to Henry. Henry with a shot, goes off T and into the netting. Oh my goodness, that's big bowl. That's a big bowl of chili. Henry devouring it with a good shot on target. He thought he had it. That one just goes off his fake tooth and into the cage. 338 remains in the second. And the Pittsburgh Vipers back within the lead of three. Classic. Over to Milk. Milk here for the Vipers. Bringing this one back and around town, down to the near side. Boards flies with a backhand shot, goes off T, slapped away. This one's brought back over by Milk into the offensive end. Looking for Christian. Christian at the far side point, bringing this one off the backhand, goes off, spills down low over to Flaccid. Flaccid whips it along the wall to the top side, spills letting that one leak out the full 200 into the palm of Henry. Henry looking to bring this one out to the top side, across the grain, out in front of his own cage. Spills not really, just, he was just waiting him out. First man to make a move is the first man to make the mistake. That one's shot down by Christian in the corner. Milk trying to fish that one free for the boys in blue. T having the same idea. Spills with a touch. Goes off Milk. Milk here with a pass over to Christian. Christian off the that backhand. The forehand. Out to Henry. Henry back over to Christian. Stolen away by T. T two on one. A shot goes right to Henry. Just hands it off. Says, sorry, I'll give that back. I don't know entirely what that was about. Uh, a wild time to be alive if you're Henry. Interesting. T from the hip back over to Flaccid, sends this one back down low. T looking to bring this one down the near side, boards down in front. Flaccid with a shot attempt, but not able to get past Henry. T top side over to Christian. Christian here with it now. Going to pull this one out of the way. 2 12 remaining in the second period of action. 2 to 5 is our score. Here's Henry with it now. Big pass off the top side, spills, goes off to the near side. Milk there with a dump in attempted by the Pittsburgh Vipers. T back for the plague. Henry. Hold, shoots, goes off the side of the cage, down to Christian. Christian pulls to the top side, gets a step on T. Flies it, holding that post. Milk with a shot, T with a better save. This one's brought back out to the top side boards. Henry holds, shoots, goes down over to Milk. Shooting, and he's scoring. What a goal. Milk abiding his time on the near side point. A good forehanded exception of the pass, and a good forehanded release. Sends out one top shelf where you keep the peanut butter. Six to two is the score, and it's all jiffy. Milk down low. We're going to bring this one out for the Vipers. Christian out to the point. T slaps that one into the offensive zone for the Plymouth Plague. The captain himself is doing his own work down low. Flaccid shot goes off the far side and wide. Christian trying to feed that one through to Milk, but not able to get through spills easily. Flaccid down low goes off Henry. Henry here for the Vipers. Cross the green. Milk wide open. Shooting off the far side and wide. Christian down low. Shoots. Nice save there by Flaccid. Henry here with possession, looking to bring this one out and around town. Gets a step on Spills. The backhand was not released. A good stick check there by Spills. Christian goes off Flaccid. Flaccid controlling. Forehand shot. Nice save by the post. And Spills with a hat trick. It would have sent it packing. Says, you better have turned left at Albuquerque because I'm going to send you there. Spills with a beautiful shot in his 13th of the season on opening night. Wow.
It's three to six. Plymouth Plague trying to make this period their own. A good little panhandle there by Spills, just showing off why uh, why he's pro. A little intention here and there. Pittsburgh there with a dump in. 40 seconds rain in the second. Fed out to Christian. And a deflection by Milk, just not strong enough to get that one going north from the pass crossed in orbit. Milk looking topside, bringing this one down low. Here's T with an out reverse to the topside boards and then along his own end wall. T, near side. T just keeps on going. Spills pulls it away with a step to, to advance. 10 seconds remain in the second. Three goals of the gap. Christian looking to dump this one out. Maybe keep it in his own corner. Whips this one down the near side boards. Lone, Henry, T, battle it out. Goes to the top side and that is going to do it. That's the end of the second period of action. Moving into the intermission for the 3-6 game. Hang on, what was that? The Pittsburgh Viper McDonald's meal. Three McDoubles, a 10-piece nugget with honey, mustard, and three large fries. They're going to bring back the jumbo size. The biggie, what was, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? And a Big Mac for dessert. That's what I'm talking about. That actually sounds amazing. 50 cents if the, if the Vipers won the previous day. That's what I like to hear. I'm going to McDonald's after this game. Anyway, six parties ready to rock. Six parties ready to roll. We're down on the ice yet again. Pittsburgh Vipers on the left. Plymouth on the right. Plaza with a shot goes into the far side corner. Super size. That's the one I'm looking for. Thank you, Nexus. Henry there with a nice save. Keeps this one off the far side. Bring this one downtown. Milk with an opportunity. Backhand shot. Nice save by T. T out the other way. Two on one. Pass goes off. Henry. Henry with a nice attempt. At a defensive back check push. And uh, one that paid out massively. When you're on a two-on-one, taking the shot away, taking the angle as close as you can cut it is always the best case in scenario when you're on defense. Um, if you've never played slap shot before and you're trying to figure out the meta, just watch this game. Watch how they space out. Watch the triangles they form on defense and offense. Pittsburgh Vipers, their offense really hasn't pulled this one back with a game plan that they beat the Clappers with. Spills with an opportunity. Henry there with a nice stick check. No care with control. The way the Vipers really operate on offense, they, they set up the triangle. A nice shot goes off the iron. The Vipers really set up the triangle on the offensive side. And um, where there's two people open, odds are one of them is going to be open. As you push one guy onto the man with a puck, like Spills does there, you force turnovers like that. Then you really only have one other guy to stop a pass from getting through because the other guy has to tend the net. And once that guy tending the net goes to take away that second passing lane, that's when the shot's released and that's when the goal happens. That's how the Vipers beat the Clappers. And... Um, Case in point here in this match, you haven't seen as much of it compared to that last game. And I think that's why they're only up by three right now. They don't need more goals to win this game. There's three minutes, 24 remaining in the game. They really have nothing else to prove offensively. It just comes down to playing keep away, making sure the Plymouth play can't shoot because they can't they can't score if they don't shoot. Spills with a nice save there. And I think it's, that's really all they need to come down with. They got their game plan locked down, key and lock right now. And uh, it's just going to be how other teams are going to be able to adapt to their game plan. A nice shot from T. Finds an empty cage at the end of that rainbow. He's tasting it like it's Skittles right now. Good feed from Flaccid off the hip of Christian. And T with a sure shot. It's 4-6 to six in Plymouth. Thank you for the sub, Messiah. I appreciate you. Everybody chanting for overtime. I would love to see this in overtime. I think there's... Five controller players on the ice. T is definitely mouse and keyboard. I don't remember what flask it is. He might be a hybrid. But we have the majority of controller players here on the ice right now. Nice shot by Spills. Better save by Henry. Sent down into the corner. This one's pulled out and away by T. Finding his way over to Flaccid. Flies with a forehand shot. Goes into the near side corner. Milk. Top side, along the boards, finds Henry, passed over to Christian, has to hold W, walks it in, and that's another goal for the Pittsburgh Vipers. Answering the last two, unanswered from the Plymouth Plague, and it's 7-4 to four in Plymouth. Last it is a controller play. Thank you. You guys know a lot more than me. Bro, that's not overtime. That's what I'm saying, laugh track. It really isn't. Three goals in the gap yet again. Pittsburgh Vipers not going quietly into the night, not letting overtime happen, not giving the fans what they want. SMH my head. <laughs> Christian down to the corner, pulling this one off the back end, looking towards the top side of the ice with a little bit of finesse in his back pocket. 
little bit of fire underneath his skates. That one shot down the ice. Here's T with it now, back in his own defensive side, looking to toss that spaghetti, finding his way over to Flaccid. Flaccid over to Spills. Spills controlling, not able to get the pot boiling. As Henry goes off T into the far side corner. Flaccid, after that one, banks that one off the boards, finding its way off Spills into the offensive zone for the Plymouth Plague. Henry returns fire, sending this one down the near side. Flaccid, back behind his own goal line. Shot off the wall, finding Spills. Spills shoots, scores! And the Plymouth Plague back in the saddle here late in the third. A minute 35 remains in the game. It's 7 to 5. Plymouth down, but not out. Good shot off the iron. That one rings up off the corner. Christian advancing, going off Henry. Back in, out to Milk. Milk here with an opportunity. Looking to bring this one off to the far side. And uh, Spills looking for an offensive chance. Will the comeback happen? I don't know. Plymouth Plague have a lot of work to do. Two goals the gap, a minute to do it, and that is entirely plausible. Get a goal here quick. Face-off goals are a thing, and they're pretty prominent. Milk with a shot. That one goes wide off the far side. Oh, my goodness. The scream that man cried out went through the fabric of time and reality. Oh, my goodness. It sounds like he would have gotten slapped by a, Mi a Big Mac. The, the amount that echoed through his micro... Oh, my... Mulligan. Mulli that's a mulligan moment. 7-5 to five <laughs> remains with a two-point lead, lead for the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Vipers. And Spill is coming back within realms of possibility. One points the gap. Who's it going to be? Spills with another goal to his tally sheet. And another notch in the bedpost. 6-7. to seven. Vipers in trouble. Henry, the first man back for this one. Taking this one off the forehand. Stopped by Spills in the corner. Brought back out by Christian. He's going to dump this one down into the offensive zone. Blast it back on the defensive. Send this one out and swimming. Spills, Christian, battle against one another. Top side, looking for this dump out of 10. Sent down to the near side. Boards, Flaccid going to be the first man towards it. Henry with a touch on it. Dumps it down with 10. Flaccid with 8. Top side to T with 6. Finding his way over to Christian. Henry kept in the corner, and he's just going to whip this one around the boards. And that's the end of the ball game. 6-7, to seven, the final score of the night. Plymouth Plague, their first loss of the season to the hands of the Pittsburgh Vipers. And uh, interesting to see how the rest of the season is going to progress. Pittsburgh Vipers with a demanding undefeated record of 2-0 so far. Plymouth Plague keeping it close, keeping it tight. The defending champions going to make a run for a Lucha Trophy this season. Lucha Trophy is given to the best pro team with uh, the pro team with the best record at the end of the regular season. That's going to do it here tonight. Take a look at the individual stats, the individual efforts down on the ice. Henry doing it all. The 200-foot game coming in clutch again. A minute with a puck on his stick uncontested. The way possession time is calculated in this game is if you have the puck within reach of your, your sphere of influence, some have called it, where you can swing your stick and you can hit it. That puck's inside the sphere of influence and starts your counter. If an enemy player is inside that sphere of influence, it stops the counter. So possession time is calculated by uncontested possession of the puck. Plymouth Plague, really even, really even stuff down there on the ice. Um, nothing to hang their head about. They played a great game, just a little late to the start of the draw. Pittsburgh Vipers had many unanswered goals at the beginning of the game, and I think that's the main reason of their downfall. What a game, what a night, and what a first day to SPL's fifth season here in Rebound. Got to take a look at the three out of the four games so far for Pro, and it's made me excited for this season. And I hope it has done the same to you. But thank you guys for tuning in this evening. Hopefully, we'll see you guys in the next broadcast. Thank you for all of our supporters up there on the list. This was prior to today. I've tried to revamp it, make it a little bit more neat. But, um, yeah. Herbie on Jastronics, Laugh Track, Gubby, Min, and Eli, alongside Messiah. And, of course, Fizz. Kofi cements a gifted sub from them during the playoffs of last season. They're going to be cemented in that orange title all season this season because of it. But yeah, uh, if you want on this list, just subscribe. I'll, it'll stick you on there for next broadcast. Time to go eat some shrimp. That's what I'm talking about. Me and JS Tronics living in the same boat right now. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning into the SPO Network. It's a short list. Next cast, maybe tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure. I'm still sick, so uh, <laughs> I'm just happy my voice held on this long. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in to this broadcast, the SBO Network. I'm Darth, and hopefully we'll see you all next time.
farewell afternoon and have a good night